okay hello hello hopefully this is all working now my laptop was refusing to work it just didn't want to didn't want to do anything <laughs> couldn't make a make anything start up so sorry i'm a couple of couple of minutes late but um happy happy tuesday hope you're all okay hope you're all well uh i've got little sausage pants man here but he's just gone out for a walk uncle josh has got him today so uh Uncle Josh is just uh, wrapping him all up and going to take him out on, for a walk because it is a beautiful day out there. It's cold, but it's lovely, lovely, lovely. So um, hopefully you're all okay. Hopefully you all had a lovely weekend. Uh, Sarah did a little walk around for you yesterday around the shop just to show you some new bits. But then we had other stuff coming yesterday as well. So um, I thought I'd um, we do a little. We're going to do a little daily deal because we haven't had one for a little while. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to um, show you um, some other new bits that have come in as well. Um, and then we're going to do some crochet. We're going to do a little little block. Um, I had a lovely weekend. I went away down to West Wales. Um, well, not quite West Wales. Clinically. Clinically, I don't know how you pronounce it. You know, my my I'm English, not Welsh, um, and it was um, it was beautiful. This little glad cabin, cabin, like a little Nordic cabin over by a lake with a hot tub. It was very nice, very relaxing. And then we came back, and the boys had trashed the house. Not trashed the house. They just hadn't done any housework all weekend. So you can imagine what it was like with all the lads in the house. So yay, relaxation gone. <laughs> So um, let's just say hello to everybody before we get started. Uh, who's there? Hi Jean, hi Kate, hi Wendy, hi Carol, uh, hi Eileen. You're live today, yay! <laughs> hello everybody. Um, hopefully you're all okay and everyone's all right. So uh, first things first, I'm going to take you over to the overhead and just let me know if this is working because this was the issue. I couldn't get this to work, but I'm hoping I have now. Uh, what I thought I'd do is show you, um, I think Sarah showed you briefly on the live yesterday, I was travelling back so I didn't see it, um, but these are the new bumbleberries which are uh, yummy, really really nice, um, this one's a cream with like a pearlized finish, these are all the new season colours, so we've got a cream with a pearlized finish, we've got this one that's called biscotti which is like that sort of lovely biscuit tan colour, uh, we've got like a lovely sort of air force bluey green colour, um, a slightly deeper char it's called charcoal grey but it's actually got like a hint of green to it as well it's almost like a teal to it um, Neptune blue that one was called which is that really rich beautiful blue colour uh, we've got muted thistle which is like as that sort of heather or thistle coloured heathery thistle colour and then we've got thistle which is the dark one so there's seven new colours um, so I've put a little fat quarter bundle up together, which is on the daily deals. So uh, we're going to do that for £20 for the seven fat quarters. They are on the bolt as well. They're in the Lewis and Irene. Oh, um, oh it's working. Brilliant. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> they are on the in the fabric section, so you can buy them on the bolt. But for those of you who'd like just a little bit of all the colours, we've done a fat quarter bundle for £20 for all seven. OK, so you can grab those as well. I'm glad the overhead's working because I couldn't get the laptop to work and then I couldn't get the cameras to activate and it was like, ah, no! <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's the little daily deal for today and tomorrow I've got, I'll have lots and lots to show you. Um, let me just come back over here a second. Um, if you saw me on uh, the craft store last week on Thursday, that hedgerow stuff that we had, which was all those beautiful blues and greys, I've managed to get more of the, more of the panels in. Um, they're on our website now and I've managed to get some of the fabrics not many of them to be honest because they are like out of stock everywhere um, but I've managed to get some from Makawa um, and we've put those on the website too so if you liked them and didn't get them or you liked them they've arrived and you thought I need more um, they are on our website now there's a whole section there Makawa Hedgerow and what we've got is in that section um, We've also had another range called Baby Safari in, which is just the cutest thing. So we're going to be, um, that's on the website too, but I'll show you those tomorrow, okay? Right, let's get on with some crochet, shall we? How are you? Ah, thanks, Terry. Yeah, it was a lovely weekend. How are you all? Is everyone okay? Are you all all right? I hope so. So hopefully we're on the overhead again now. So what we're going to have a little go at today is this, um, it's called, sometimes called a baby block pattern sometimes it's called a plaid now I did a couple of little samples up while I was away this weekend and one using um, three um, colours 
and you get that real plaid look because they you, know, you can see it goes one two three one two three and then the next one along is like three two one three two one blah 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 like that so you get that lovely sort of almost like a herringbone type look to it this one I did four colours just to see what would happen and it comes out more sort of like in stripes almost like a tartan because you've got like one two one two one two on that one and then you've got three four three four on each one so you can play around with this depending on how many colours you want you know you're going to get a slightly different look it's the same technique slightly different looks I've chosen sort of these with just the yarns that I had with me which is why they're all in those colours but I've just grabbed some really really bright ones out of my scrap bucket uh, of yarn just so that we can have a little go at this today and I'm going to take you through it. Um, I will put a link up to a YouTube tutorial that was really useful that I found, um, <coughs> excuse me, that I found so I'll do that as well for you. Um, so let's start with start with any colour okay and we're going to chain make a chain to start with now this would be really good for I think it would make beautiful you know when we had those lovely wristlets I think they'd be really really good wristlets they'd be beautiful as a baby blanket I think it'd be really really nice and colourful as a baby blanket or you could do like an ombre effect if you chose like graduating colours and stuff which would be lovely um, sorry this hey Doug is on because little man's been here and it's I've just realised this <laughs> it's um bagpipes and all going off in the background um starting wise you're just going to make a chain that's as wide however long however wide you want your piece okay um it's a multiple of six plus two so um whatever your multiple plus six of six plus two is you're going to do that i'm just going to do um a little chain just so we can show you okay a sample piece okay so i'm just going to chain away two uh, three four and five six and seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty if i do twenty four there we go three twenty four oh, i've lost count it doesn't matter and then plus two one two because i'm not going to use this for anything it's just little samples so multiple of six plus two okay um, let me just move this camera down actually a second. Let me get it right down for you so you can see what I'm doing. If I bring this right close, because we don't need a massive area, hopefully that'll be a bit bit better for... Is that better with my with my hands, guys? Will you be able to see a little bit easier what, what we're doing? I'll put that on as well, actually. Let's put that light on. There we go. That might help as well. <laughs> so what we're going to do is it's all worked with trebles, um, and chains and that's it it's all about placement okay so we're into the second chain from the hook so we never count the one on the hook so one two so into this third one here okay so sorry you're going to skip two one two into the third one there I'm going to put a treble okay so wrap pull up so I've got three on my hook through two through two and then in the next stitch I'm going to put a treble so this is all done with threes. So I'm going to do three trebles like that. And a third one in this one here. Like that. So there's three there. Is that better? Brilliant. Thanks, Jean. There we go. So I've got that my chain is kind of pulled up, and that makes on, on the end you'll end up with four. But in the rest of it, it's all threes. Because this chain kind of becomes the fourth one of the block. Okay. Chain three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to skip three stitches. So you can see that stitches in there. And then we're going to go one, two, three, skip three. And in the fourth one, we're going to do a treble. Okay, so one and, and it's my second one, two. So I'm just moving on one stitch each time. So next one in the chain, three, like that. So I've got another little block of three trebles. One, two, three, and chain three. One two and three so what have you all been up to has anybody got anything fun to tell me two three and I'm just going to work my way along so I'm skipping three and I'm going to do my three trebles anybody got anything they want to tell me I am going to tell you in a moment because I've suddenly remembered I didn't tell you guys about the new crochet uh, quilt along that's starting and we're going to be doing a crochet along as well so um but we're going to start the quilt along next week um, so can you see I've got little blocks of three trebles with three chains in between so again I'm going to skip three one two three and in my fourth one I'm going to go one 
and two and then three. Oh, this is getting quite loose. I need to keep my stitches a bit tighter like that. Is anybody doing anything fun? Anybody got any news to tell me? And then one, two, three. And then, oh, I did. I miscounted. Ignore that. I'm going to finish. The, uh, I'm actually going to, I'm going to fudge this. I'm going to fudge this. Sorry, guys. I, I did miscount my chains. When I my starting chain, I thought I'd miscounted because I was talking at the same time. Um, and you actually want to put, I'm just, mm, how am I going to do this? You should have one chain left and I've got two and you shouldn't have. So I'm going to just put, hang on, let me get rid of those chains there. So when you get to the last block, right, imagine that finishes there. You should only have one chain left. Okay, sorry, I, that was my fault. I miscounted my starting chain. And then we're going to add one in there like that. Okay, so you've actually got four there we go. Can you see you've got four on the, the first chain where it pulls up makes one. So the, the start in the end of the row is four and all the ones in between are three. OK, ignore that a little bit. I should have only had one left. <laughs> we are then going to chain one and turn our work. OK, like that. So we're working oh hang on sorry guys I'm really messing this up today I didn't put my chains in there I went back too many it's because I was trying to tell you about the crochet long wasn't it haha <laughs> um the details lovely of the crochet long will be going on Facebook later on um right let me get this right one two three and then get that in there like that there we go oh for goodness sake my fingers aren't working today um it's going to be a row by row quilt we're going to do my hearts and stars quilt which is a row by row um, I will put all the fabric requirements up and the cutting instru uh, um, sorry the fabric requirements up for you and then we're going to be starting next Wednesday. I'm going to do it. Let me just come in. Let me just tell you this because I'm not concentrating on that because I'm doing this. <laughs> so crochet quilt along. Quilt along is going to be starting next Wednesday. I'm going to do them as evening sessions. I want a little bit more time with you guys on the blocks because they are um, some of them are slightly more complicated blocks. Nothing that we haven't done. We have we haven't done them before, but nothing you haven't handled before. Um, so I want a little bit more time. So I'm going to do them fortnightly, starting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the evening. Okay. Um, I will get the fabric requirements up on the Facebook page for you later on this afternoon. Um, and tell you exactly what you need and put a picture up of the quilt that we're going to be doing and I will also give you a link to the the pattern and all as well okay um, we have done this quilt before it's one of the very first quilts that I designed um, about whew, five six years ago so some of you may have done it some of you who came to class may have done it but it's a long time ago but there will be lots and lots of you that haven't but it's got some I'm really pleased with it it's, it's got a couple of little different techniques in there it's all not it's just not all piecing there's a little bit of foundation piece in there but only a little bit there's a little bit of plique in there but only a little bit um so it's it's a really lovely quilt so um we are going to be doing that one as the quilt along so i'll get all the details up for you okay later on this afternoon and i'm going to go back to the crochet now now i've uh, got that over my head and told you all okay there we go so we're going to go one two three one two three and then uh actually I'm just going to fudge this because I actually did it wrong so I'm going to put two in each just to make it work okay so we would put our three in like that and in the very final one you'd put a fourth one okay because at the end of each row beginning and end of each row you have four okay so we have something that looks like that which is now right <laughs> Um, even better, I can't make Wednesday lunch time. Sorry for being such. That's okay. There are a lot of people who are who work during the day who follow us, um, and actually, I just thought for um, it would give us a little bit more time than the the lunchtime one because the lunchtime one we're always kind of rushing to get back to the shopping all now. So if we do it at seven o'clock on a Wednesday evening, a little bit more time, we can be a little bit more relaxed, and we you know, you guys can sort of either sew along with me or you can watch it and watch it back. It's just a little bit easier. So. That's your first one, okay? You're going to leave your wool attached because we're going to loop them up the sides and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to drop that one. We're going to change colour each row. So I'm going to go back half a stitch. So just before I finish that treble, I want to add in my new colour. So I'm going to add in this yellow, all right? So I'm just going to pull the yellow through so that I'm finishing 
with the new colour okay by doing that by doing this like you can see on this one I didn't loop up and look at all those ends I've got to sew in with this one I did loop up and I've only got a couple of ends to sew in okay so I'm going to show you how to do that as well we're going to chain one with the new colour and I'm going to turn all right so I'll get back to this now get get my brain into gear <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to chain three so you always chain one at the minute and then you're going to go back to those multiples of three so technically you're chaining four but it's one and three okay so one two three like that we're now going to be working into this piece here okay where that little gap is we're going to do a treble right down here on the chain below so as we work up we'll be working into this chain but at the moment we're going to work into this chain so i'm going to drop down to that stitch there and pull up and I'm enclosing this chain and do my treble. So one, two. I'm going to drop, do another, so it's three trebles. So into the next chain along, pull it up. One and two. And then my next one along, which is just there, pull up. One and two. So it looks a bit of a mess at the minute, but it will all kind of block itself out, I promise. Chain three again. So one, two and three and then we're going to do the same in this gap all right so we're going to find that first chain just there oh where is it gone there it is there and do my treble don't split your yarn like that and then my second one which is just there okay so this first bit is a weeny bit tricky because you're working into chains rather than stitches right at the beginning and it's not the easiest but it does get a lot easier I promise okay there we go like that chain three one two three hi Lindy hello my darling how are you hi Lynn as well hi oh I'm glad you liked your sub, uh, subscription box and um, it's a uh, it's a pretty fabric that one isn't it it's a really cute pattern as well Sarah Jane did a beautiful pattern for that one there we go it's one going into that bottom chain and I'm enclosing that top chain so I'm working over it and then into that last one there there's my third one chain three one two and three and then I'm going into this last little hole here so into there like that and there's one there's two and three like that chain three to kind of come over these stitches one two and three uh what range is it um it was called jungle safari i think um and i will i will pop it on for, i'll answer when i get back i will double check for you carolyn and answer your question okay i can't quite remember what the name of it was and then what we're going to do now is we're going to put a double crochet into this very end stitch here which is basically the top of the chain so you're going to go in and all that's doing is securing this chain down like that okay so you've got something that looks like that now now we actually want to change color again so what I'm going to do is grab my this color and go like this and I'm keeping everything attached okay which I know it feels messy at the moment, but it won't be when you get going. I'm going to actually take that back like that. So I've just got two on my hook there and there like that. And I'm going to pull through the new colour. So I get that nice colour change. All right. Like that. There we go. Is he asleep, Josh? Yeah. He is. Little man's gone asleep on his walk. We're going to flip it. Okay. And now you can see that basically you're only ever going to work trebles where there's a gap like this so we need to get our height to start with and because you want that four at the beginning one two three four chains to start with which acts like a treble and then we're going to go down to here so I'm going to go into that very first space there and do my treble are you all with me with this is it making sense sorry I'm not I don't feel like I'm explaining it very well today there's my second one and I'm going in, can you see I'm into the top of that treble from the previous, from the first row. So it's only really the first row that you have to worry about going into chains. After that, you're always going into the top of the treble. Okay. We're going one, oh, we're going one, two, three chains, and then moved up, work down the row again. So 
I'm going to find. Now it is a little bit hidden that first stitch. Can you see it? Ten tends to get sucked in under here so make sure you go into that first stitch because you want to put three trebles in there so one move on to the next stitch two like that move on to the next stitch three three chains and it is a repeat of that three trebles three chains it's just about finding those stitches so there it is it's a weeny bit hidden find it there we go and there's my second one and there's my third one okay I want to put a couple of rows in because I want to show you how to loop up your yarns when you want to change color and then there's another one there okay uh, oh sorry uh, you're putting Ollie down for his nap Carolyn oh bless you Top Jonah Benjamin who is now walking like properly unaided he's he's really doing it now he's just gone down for a nap as well love Josh has got him today. That's my three. Okay, and then I'm going to put this into this last gap here. So find that first stitch. There we go. This one is a really lovely repetitive thing that after a while you can just read the work. And it was, I found it quite relaxing because it really wasn't stressful at all. It was just the same thing over and over. Okay, so then we've got that row in. Now, we want to do the next row in this green. So you want to be able to bring this yarn up okay so little trick okay what we're going to do is we're going to on this next stitch we're going to wrap we're going to go into that very end bit there like that and pull up okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the yellow yellow tail out of the way I'm going to take the green and the pink together like that I'm going to pull both through there and then I'm going to drop the pink and finish with that green like that okay now you get the tiniest little color blip just here okay in fact if I hadn't split the yarn I'll do that again for you because I actually split the yarn I can show you again if I hadn't split the yarn that would have worked perfectly so you do get a t you do get a really tiny little color blip but you don't have to sew in any of the ends and I'll live with that tiny blip for no end sewing so pull up three I'm going to grab both of them both the pink and the green I'm going to pull through both on the first bit of the treble and then drop the color I want to get rid of which is the pink and finish off with my the color I want to change I want to change to there we go like that okay and what that does is that kind of knit almost well it stitches it in basically for you into the side so you haven't got these big loops going up the side it's really you know it's really easy to do we're then going to chain one okay and flip now we're back to if you, you can start to read the work now we're back to a block pattern okay so what we're going to do this time is over a block we're going to chain and over a gap you're going to treble so chained one so I need to do a chain over this block. So one, two, three. And then I'm gonna work into, I've got a gap. So here we go down with my trebles. So I'm gonna to go to the end of this one and then show you that change of, you know, how to do the change uh, color thing again so that you guys can see it. So I'm putting one, two, three. What's this? Uh, really liking this and doing mosaic crochet at the moment. It's easy to see how you do it. Thank you. Ah, oh, brilliant, following well. But it's no, so nice to see it visually. Um, yeah, it's it's. I really enjoyed this. I'm actually thinking about doing um, a bit of a blanket in this one because I've after do nearly finished nearly finished the Liliana. I could really do with something very very simple that I can just pick up and put down. And I just thought this was such a pretty pattern and it was so sort of rhythmical once you got into it. You don't have to worry about you know where's your pattern, what are you thinking about. You can really start to read the work very very easily. So. Um, we are starting another crochet along. Uh, when I get back to the shop, Sarah and I are going to be sorting out the colourways and getting the packs ordered in. Um, it's a really beautiful one. We are we have found one that, uh, and Sarah's going to be doing it. She's decided she wants she wants to have a go at the crochet. She's not going to be scared of it anymore. She's going to do it. So Sarah's going to be doing the crochet along, um, and she's so she's so good at the crochet. She just gets scared about teaching it. I think she gets all flustered, but it's um, it's a really beautiful pattern so we will have a new crochet along starting and that's going to be starting mid-February because we've got to get the fact with the wool in for it okay so coming towards the end 
I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and in that very bottom one there, you want to do a double crochet, but I want to bring up my new colour, okay, so what I'm going to do is dip in and then bring both my yarns like that, oh, come on, through. No, I don't. Oh, silly girl. Sorry. <laughs> I tell you what, my brain really has gone today. Like that. Okay. And we're going to finish off with the yellow on this side because you've already got a double crochet. No, that, no, you did finish off with that. That's right. Like that. There we go. Then when you chain one, you're just going to chain with the yellow. There we go. I knew I'd got it. I was like, I'm, I know I worked this out. Like that. And then flip and off we go again. Okay, so we're gonna oh we're gonna work with the yellow now. Let's get a me mess out of the way. I've got a tangle of yarns going on. There we go. So and off we go again. So it's a chain, it's a gap, so we're gonna be working a block rather than a chain. So up three, one, two, three, and then a win we go again. So in, pull up, and it's that it's the same over and over. And I'm just gonna be repeating myself now, but I just thought I'll do this last row. So ask me any questions if you've got any, or does anyone want to tell me anything when I finish this last row and I can show you the the change once more. There we go, like that. It grows quite quickly as well. I really like this. And you could play around with like tartany colours as well, which I think might be quite nice. You know, I mean I just grabbed three colours from my from my stash just um just to have a play with. But you know, you could work. You could work with some really beautiful autumnal, autumny colours. You know, have a look at some tartans, and you would actually get that sort of tartany feel from it. I think, It'd be really nice. There we go. Nearly there. Let's get to the end block, and I can show you. You can see how it's sort of coming together. Now you can't if you're using um, four. If you're using an even amount of colours, um, so four, six, etc., or two you can't do the follow thing up the, up the side because your colour ends up on the wrong side with an even number. So you do have to, you have got a lot of ends to sew in, but I'll, I'll show you that on the little sample in a moment. Um, but if you're using an odd number, you can absolutely follow the, those colours up. So there's my three, and then I'm gonna be going back to the green. No, I'm not, what's it next? It's pink next, isn't it? Yeah, I did green, yellow, pink, green, yellow, pink, it's pink next, which would make sense because the pink is attached. No. So on my last one, we're gonna, I'll do it again for you. So round, pick up that stitch, right the way down there, there we go, down there, and pull up, wrap both of them, pull through the first two, drop the yellow, and pull through the last two, like that, to change my colour, all right? And that you just carry on like that. So it's nice and easy, you can see how they kind of offset their colours and you get this lovely pattern. So if I move this one out of the way and show you with these ones. So this was done exactly the same way as I've done that one. Um, oh, I should probably show you how to finish it off, actually. Let me, sh what I'll do is I'll finish off on this, this row, okay? So when it's as long as you want it to be, you've started the poncho using a half herringbow stitch that uh, Sarah showed you a couple of weeks ago. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, Sarah Jane mentioned something about bumper berries. Yeah, um, Susie, I, um, there's a deal on. There's a deal on. I did it. I did it at the beginning, hun. Okay, have a check out of the daily deals. Um, you could do it monochromatic. Absolutely, Linda. Yeah, absolutely. That would be lovely. So when you get to when it's this as long as as you want it to be, okay. Um, all you're going to do. You actually have to finish on. Um, no, you don't. You yeah. No, you don't. I can finish it like this. So I chain one, and I'm going to do a double crochet into each stitch. So one. Two three there's actually four at the beginning four like that instead of doing a chain at the beginning you do double crochets and then you would drop down in okay so then you would do your three like that one two and three there we go and then when you get to this bit don't do a chain because normally you do a chain over a block you don't you just do double crochets into the top of each stitch so one two and three. Oh, split that yarn. This is really cheap yarn. I'm going to use. There we go, like that. Can you see? And that then finishes off. It it 
blocks in these bits here okay so I'm just working my way along with a double crochet drop in double crochet drop in like that and that's what I did here just to finish it off so you're getting rid of those those gaps okay um, so that was one done you know a little piece done with three you can see you know it did did those three sort of tonal colors and then that one was done with four okay so you end up with those sort of like stripy patterns but you could play around with all sorts of different colors and everything okay um hi karen lovely lovely oh that sounds nice from a face massage nice um with the four you do end up with lots of ends because your colors end at the wrong side because it's like one two three four and when you want your one again it's over here so you you do have to sew in your ends with that one but with the three you can see I don't know if you can see it this is where I'd take my my wall up the side you can just just see it up the side so you've only really got your starts and your ends to sew in if you do it as an even number so um, as much as I like this I don't want to have to sew all those, all those ends. <laughs> um, so that's it, lovelies. Um, sometimes it's called plaid crochet. Sometimes it's called baby blocks. Um, it's one of those little ones that it's nice and easy to do. Um, it's a real, it's really rhythmical, which I really like. Actually, I think after after the Liliana, I need I need something simple. I do need something simple. So um, something for you to have a play with. Anyway, hi. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow, uh, normal time, with one o'clock, with a new block. I've got a new block for you, um, with a little bit of a romantic theme in, in mind, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, and then Sarah's back on Thursday with a draft excluder. Sarah's then on holiday for 10 days. She's off then. So um, next week, I've got a guest joining me next week. Well, I hope I have. I've got to, I've got to um, what's the word, confirm it definitely so we're gonna have a guest joining us next week hopefully on the tuesday on the wednesday we're going to be going live at 7 p.m so that um we can start the quilt along and i will put all the details up for you and then thursday i haven't decided what i'm doing thursday no idea i haven't actually got anybody for the shop so i'm not sure it might be a question and answer thing in the shop because i think it's just me because paul and linda has got um jury service says on holiday and beth works at her other job on thursday so um <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Depends. Oh, actually, my husband's on holiday next week. I might make him look after the shop for me for an hour <laughs> uh, on Thursday. So we'll work it out, though. But, um, yeah, we'll see you really soon. I'll see you tomorrow, guys, for Block of the Week and a bit of sewing. So take care.